Dr. Melody Ivory combines the eye of an artist, heart of a poet, and discipline of a scientist to help mid-career women get and stay on purpose with their life's calling. She is the author of several books and known simply as the virtuoso of change. See, I set an intention back in March. Somehow, some way, I was going to perform during the conference when I went there. Now, I had talked to Sandra about that when she was here, and she said, "Well, the entertainment set. Let me, let me see if I can figure out how to, you know, make some room somewhere." And she went off and wouldn't return my phone calls, wouldn't return my emails. I even enlisted Zita. Zita, put in a good word for me. No, Zita, no dice. She just wasn't seeing the vision. I knew the vision. So, somehow, some way, I was going to perform at this event. I wasn't taking no for no answer. And so, here it is, the last day. I've been there for four days. The very last session of the day. This is it. It's going to be over. Everybody's about to go home. This is it. And I have not performed yet. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sitting there. It's a Q&A session. I'm sitting there. And I heard Lisa Nichols, who's the lady from The Secret, if you don't know her. I heard her say, you can ask any question. Any question. I didn't hear anything else but any question. <laughs> and I'm sitting there, and I hear in my mind, ask them, can you perform the closing form? My mouth dropped. Like, ooh, because I knew what I was about to do. I'm going to put these people on the spot. <laughs> if I do this, this is some bold. I'm sitting there, my heart starts beating. See, people, now when I tell people I was scared, nobody believes me. I don't, I don't understand why about, nobody believes that I get scared. Let me tell you, every time I get a mic in my hand, I'm scared. Every time I do a poem, I'm scared. And anyway, I'm sitting there, I can't believe the universe wants me to ask this question. Just in case the universe I didn't get the message, guess what? The microphone was sitting right in front of me. I didn't have to go walk to the mic, I just had to get out of my seat. That's all I had to do. Right. What's the chance? I didn't even see that microphone when I sat there. And it's right in front of me. And I'm sitting there and they're talking and they get to the point where they open it up for questions. And people start lining up. One person gets in line. Second person gets lined. I had already heard the message, you're gonna get in line early. You're not gonna to wait till the last minute because you might not get on the program. So I'm two people in line. Ooh, my heart is just killing me at this point. And I hear someone say, get up. And I get up. And I walk up to the line, I'm standing in line, probably about half an hour it seemed. I'm in line. The whole time I'm shivering like it's cold. Because I'm so nervous, I'm so scared. For 30 minutes, I'm sitting there shaking myself to death, right? Should I shut up? No. <laughs> I'm going to finish the story. Okay, good. All right, so, you know, my time comes. I get up to the mic, and I say, this question is for Sandra. I'm the perf performance poet you met. I'm Dr. Nellie from Seattle. And I met you in March, and I said, I'm the performance poet you need to have on your program. She shakes her head, she knows who I am. Because I said that to her. Now she's remembered the cards and the emails. And I said, my question is, would you be willing to allow me to add an exclamation point to this extraordinary event by closing with my three, women, three minute tribute to women? It wasn't in my head. It's 
Anyway, cut to the chase, she said, you get a one minute version. I said, yes, hand. Can you sit down and work out a one minute Oh, don't worry about that. I got your one minute version. It's in my head already. So, my time comes, I sit there for 25 minutes to wait. And time comes and uh, her husband, Kim, said, well, let's do the clothes and video tribute. She said, oh, no, 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 no. We got to do this poetry performance. So you're not going to forget me again. <laughs> and so I said, okay, here I go. And I get the mic and I said, I want to do it up front. She said, well, your minute is counting down. <laughs> Try to get on stage, honey. Yeah. Well, I, I, that would take too much time. I'll do that next year. I already told her afterwards. Anyway, I close with a one minute version of this poem that I'm about to do. A tribute for women. women. Thank you.